Hi there, Darren here at the Seco Science Center. I am here today to show you a special critter that we have here at the center, who is a crustacean. How many of you have seen a lobster in real life before? Whether alive or possibly on your plate. Lobsters are really neat creatures. And lobsters have an exoskeleton. This is a hard exterior barrier. It's like an armor for them to help them stay protected from their environment and predators. Lobsters have walking legs. They have four pair on each side of their body. One, two, three, four hiding under its big arm. One, two, three, and this lobster is growing a tiny little leg right down here. We'll talk about that in a bit. And they also have these two big claws. Lobsters have evolved over thousands of years to adapt to their environment. They have decided that walking helps them find different small dens to hide in and also to help them get around more easily on the ocean floor. Pressure claw crushes the lobster's prey. Well, the pincher claw is more narrow and skinny and actually cuts the little animal into pieces and brings it right to their mouth to help the lobster eat. We look closely on this lobster. The top leg right up here where my finger is pointing is regrowing. Hmm, why do you think that maybe? Well, lobsters have a way to defend themselves by being able to regrow or regenerate their limbs if they are ripped off by a predator. This is a defense mechanism that they have created for themselves so that if they accidentally get bitten, they can just let the predator, whatever's trying to eat them, take that leg, take that arm, take that big claw so that they can run away, hide in a den somewhere or burrow in sand, and then it will take them a while, but they will be able to regrow that limb back. They do have a strong tail that they have adapted to use to be able to swim. Lobsters generally do not swim very often. They will walk on the ocean floor with their walking legs or crawl. It's definitely easier for them to hide in dens that way. But they do still have their tail to swim very fast with. It is very powerful. And they actually will swim backwards away from predators so that their claws are still going to be facing and defending themselves, facing that predator. All right? And female lobsters, they still have tails because they actually help them carry their eggs. So right underneath a lobster's tail, they have swimmerettes. So I'll, I'll just let him say hi to you guys. Waving hi, actually trying to swim away. But you can see how powerful this tail is. All right. So if we look up close, these are all swimmerettes. And female lobsters will have these so that they can carry eggs inside all of it. They have hair-like filaments that help them stay right on. And the lobster, the female lobster, will just make sure that her tail is staying bent up like this, curled up, so that the eggs are nice and protected and safe. Male lobsters will also have swimmerettes because these swimmerettes help them swim and have that big powerful tail like we've been seeing. Those are just a few adaptations of the lobster. Have fun exploring.